Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, back with another video, and this is the August 2024 Beer Money Portfolio Month in Review. And this has to be the best month yet, seriously. I mean, just look at all these payouts that I've gotten. So I think September is going to be tough to match, and I really do want to talk about how great August was. So enough dragging this video, let's get to it. So the total earned for this month was $258.52. I think that is the highest I have gotten for a single month since I've started this experiment, or at least restarted this experiment. Um, eight apps managed to add more than $10 to the portfolio, and six of those eight actually managed to add more than $20. The big winner for this month goes to Bridge Money at $73.40. Much of this was just collecting from the rent rewards and some milestones earned in some of the best of toast games where the milestone was actually feasible. Also managed to pick up my first thousand coin spin for another $10 there. Now I'm almost certainly not going to make this much for the portfolio next month, so it was fun while it lasted. But if I make even $30 next month in Bridge, I think that's going to really do great for the portfolio for September. And $30 should be easy if I'm making a dollar a day from the video ads. Next up is free cash at $51.30. First, earning from the back end of the pokerist game that I played, getting to level 40 and picking up all but the last two achievements. While the last two were almost $100 combined, there was literally no way to get it without earning a ton of money. As for getting to that level that I had, I used the roulette method, so basically to do that, all you gotta do is just bet the maximum amount of money that you that you can possibly divide in a particular table into against red and black. Now, I did do things a little bit differently in that I would put a sliver of the money on zero in case it landed on zero, of course, so for single zero roulette. Now, it guaranteed I would lose money every round, but it would be a set amount of money, and it would allow me to see how much experience I'd need to get to the next level a lot easier. I then moved on to the app Anagram Yahtzee, and I finished up to level 17 on August the 31st, which unlike Pokerist, um, getting to level 20, which is the top achievement there, is actually achievable without spending money. So for September, I plan to be getting a lot out of free cash just from these two alone, $90 total actually, but for the meantime, I have gotten the other $21 added on for this month on top of the 20 or so dollars I earned from Pokerist. And by the way, if you want to know how I managed to get such easy achieving on Anagram Yahtzee, I do have a video, it's actually the last video that I made, where I explained how I pulled it off relatively easy enough. I will also be working on Word Farm Adventure for the months of September and probably well into October. Third place is Cash Walk at $30, and much of this is because of whatever I did to earn an extra 10,000 or so coins. I cashed that out. I assumed that I had hit some kind of jackpot looks like, so yeah, I'll take it. I gave him almost a month, so uh, yeah, I managed to keep it, so I cashed it out and I got a few more gift cards out of it. I did take a bit of a break for cash walk while I'm on vacation, but I'm back at it today as of this recording and going to see if I can get my usual $10 to $15 a month on it. Benjamin is fourth place at $25, and I will be the first to admit Benjamin has definitely fallen out of favor with me a little bit. It has nothing to do with the daily logins being nerfed or the referrals being nerfed. It's just free cash makes me more money on games. Game to game, Benjamin gives me rewards around half to a third of what free cash does. So I'm doing most of my game achievements on free cash, and I can only really play one or two games at a time seriously. This has pushed Benjamin to the side for me, and I might look into it later down the line, but I doubt I'll be working enough on it to get another cash out next month unless something really changes. We have a tie at fifth place. Uh, for fifth place, we'll start with one pulse with $20. Got that right on the first of the month, and I'm currently about $16 into another cash out now. Pulses do slow down a little bit, again, which hasn't really helped matters. Um, as I mentioned before, if a pulse, I have to make 20 cents a month off of a pulse. That means I need to do 100 pulses a month to keep up with the $20 every 30 days. And I'm probably getting closer to like 75 to 80. I mean, I'm still at $120 so far this year, so I can't really complain. Uh, tied with them at fifth place is Atlas Earth with $20, and yeah, this will continue. Uh, I'm now in tier three, and I'm about a third of the way to tier four at this time. 
I only earned about 1500 Atlas bucks in the simulation for the month, but I barely participated in any minigames last month, and I plan to participate in more minigames this month, and again, I promise to keep to the restriction of a top 500 profit finish, regardless of how I do. I have actually been taking minigames a little bit more seriously, and on my real account, I have actually started getting back in and top 25-ing racer and golf. So yeah, there's that. Uh, going to seventh place, Ember Fund with sixteen ninety nine, all of it in Bitcoin. Now this was a good cash out, about two and a half months worth of a cash out, and I plan to do a few tips and tricks on Ember Fund down the road. It has bumped up my crypto share of the portfolio significantly. However, it's all almost entirely in Bitcoin because of Ember Fund, and I'm trying to diversify out to add a sliver of Ethereum and Solana. If I can find an app for that, I would love to, but for now, I guess it's just going to be all Bitcoin. In 8th place with 1189, we have Upside, and Upside is brand new, although I have been using it for a long time. So I got back Upside after a free cash offer earlier last month, and I haven't really looked back since. I don't really use it for gas on the regular, but for restaurants and finding gas on trips, it's actually pretty good. Also, as I said, Get Upside at the time, it was called Get Upside, had a $25 threshold, which kind of tore me away a little bit from it. Now, Upside has a $10 threshold if you want to cash out without a fee, and you can still cash out for any amount as long as you pay a $1 fee. I'm going to try to avoid paying that fee, so I'm just assuming a $10 minimum threshold, which, again, is still better than $25. So, Upside, welcome to my portfolio. Now, as for the rest, everything under $10... Cointiply earned me $5.16 worth of Bitcoin, and I added that on to my Coinbase account. I also moved it to inactive because like Benjamin, there's just other places where I can earn better. Add on the crypto that I don't plan on cashing out, and Cointiply is basically too much of a time waster for me to keep using. If I want Bitcoin, I'll just use Ember Fund to make more Bitcoin, basically, and get more of that Bitcoin that I can add to the portfolio. I am still looking for somewhere to earn Ethereum or Solana though, so if you know a good one, let me know and I'll give them a try, but Cointiply will not be one of them. They just do Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dogecoin. Amazon MTurk was only $2.60 and that was on purpose because I just got too busy with work and I needed some entertainment in my free time with games, so I focused more on games than surveys this month. Finally, $1.50 for 1Q. 55 cents for my savings account interest and 13 cents. Yeah, 13 cents in Ethereum for Bling Financial. And I've moved Bling to inactive because honestly, I haven't been making that much off of it. I made like a little over a quarter. There has got to be a better way to accumulate Ethereum or Solana. And again, I will try to find it. And here is my investment portfolio as of August the 31st, 2024. Now, I am sitting at, and I had to do a little bit of checking here, but yeah, I did double check to make sure that this actually matched my uh, beer money portfolio over here, the total earned, because I want to make sure that I have every penny accounted for. And yes, I have currently earned in beer money $1,303.94. And so far in my portfolio here, I have earned about $45, I would say, in total, just combined with all of this here. Uh, the biggest loser is definitely Ethereum, but I plan to dollar cost average as soon as I find something decent for it. Uh, and the others are mostly up or unchanged. Obviously, this is unchanged because this is my deposit. This is going to go away starting October, and I'm probably going to add that on to my uh, ETF portfolio here with bonds and stocks and my portfolio so far is up 3.28 percent that is combined with dividends uh, i don't count like this 1303.94 here i'm only counting how much i put in from my beer money portfolio so if there's any dividends that get added on to it and reinvested in i basically just added on to this so the so this percentage here will actually over time be a little bit higher but it's supposed to show you how much your money is going to grow because I feel like a lot of people have a little bit of confusion as to uh, what they see with the something like the S&P 500 total market. And they think to themselves, oh, that's all that that's going to grow per year is 6% or 8%. And they don't realize that, yeah, that also involves 2% of dividends on top of it 
to increase that to 10%. And that, that dividend really does add up. So you'll see this number actually increase very quickly over time, at least in my opinion. I mean, it might drop some, especially if we start seeing a bear market. But I'm saying over time, as we hit more all-time highs, you'll see this start growing very quickly. So right now, my uh, my overall portfolio is up 3.28% from the amount of money that I have put in, which is $1,303.94. The portfolio distribution sits at 64% stocks, 16% bonds, 18% cash, almost entirely in the Quicksilver deposit, and 2.4% crypto. Starting next month, that Quicksilver deposit is going to be taken out, and it will be added to my stock and bond little nest egg there. And I'm hoping with that and whatever earnings that I make, I can get the crypto allocation down to under 2% again. Now, as for my real life Atlas Earth account, and this will be as of September the 4th, it's a lot tougher to snapshot this, especially since I was on vacation in DC visiting in-laws on the 31st. But uh, one major achievement I want to talk about is I have officially joined the 1500 Parcel Club. Uh, in the United States tier, this is the maximum amount of parcels you can have before reaching the end game at 2x tier. So yes, I am still in 3x tier maxed out and my current rank in the US leaderboard is 290th place. In North Carolina, I'm at 8th place, both of them staying steady. And in Kannapolis, I am ahead by about 8 times my the next one below me. So I probably will remain mayor there for a while. My distribution stands at 764 commons, 447 rares, 220 epics, and 69 legendaries putting my distribution luck at around the 18th percentile. Even with this, uh, given 22 hours of boosting a day, 24-7 during Super Rent Boost events, I am earning $53.83 a month, or $3.84 a month after applying the Explorer Club. Now let me pause for a second. I want to talk about this. This is going to be a bit of a PSA, if you will. So I mentioned that I have actually broken even with Atlas Earth so far, but I wanted to check and make sure that I actually did. So what I did was I took the uh, cash out on Atlas Earth and see all the cash outs that I made starting from when I first started my account in 2022. Uh, so uh, we're going to start with 2022 and I had profited $54.20. In 2023, the amount I have made was about $40, but I ended up spending $150 on the Explorer Club on the last three months of the year. So I ended up losing $110.67 in 2023. Now, for this year so far, I have spent $349.93 in the Explorer Club for seven out of eight months. I skipped the month of April. And I cashed out $284 so far for a loss this year of $65.93. So if you add that all up together, I am actually not broke even yet. I am down $122.40 overall in the app. Might have missed a few things here and there, but it's very clear I've lost some money overall. I blame that to my want to push to the end game at any cost. And of course, that feeling of competition that I get in Atlas Earth. And the enticement of the Explorer Club being a good source of gaining more Atlas bucks and the best bang for the buck. Um, I did not move any of this cost to the channel's portfolio, however. I am eating up the full cost personally, don't worry. But this is a good reminder to all of you to make sure you're not spending more than you think you are. Go to Atlas Earth's Cash Out section. Click Redeem Now. And regardless of your total, you can see every cash out you've had up to this point. Then go back and check every payment you've made through your credit card, through PayPal, whatever you use, and you'll be able to see if you've profited or not yourself. Now, that's a PSA from me uh, because I have this big habit of thinking that I've gained something, but I actually haven't. And I want to show you guys, I want to be transparent with you guys about my own personal journey with Atlas Earth so far. I will eventually break even though, and yeah, being down $100 is not that big of a deal, but it kind of is a big deal to me because I want to pride on honesty and transparency. So I apologize over uh, saying that I had broken even, but I will eventually get there. Um, however, in the meantime, I do want to stay the course and I want to get to the end game first before I actually break even. Um, I'm not going to do that by buying packages. I'm 
I'm hoping I won't have to, at least not any big ones. But my plan is that I'm going to get to the end game and take Atlas Earth a little bit more seriously until I get there. And that magical 1720 parcels for that end game. So my goals for the month of September 1st on the portfolio, an easy goal there is breaking $1,500 net worth. As long as the stock market stays steady, this shouldn't be a problem, but I've heard September is usually one of the worst months for the stock market. Second, complete the Anagram Yahtzee game and get through most of the achievements for Word Farm Adventure on free cash. Third, on my real-life Atlas Earth account, despite me being unexpectedly down, as I mentioned before, I plan to stay the course of the endgame, getting the 22,000 Atlas bucks I need to hit 2x by being more involved in minigames, so I'm going to actually try to play more minigames and take it more seriously. And maybe toward the very end, buying a package or two? I think a lot of that is going to come down to if I feel comfortable enough that I know I'll be making the money back inside a few months. Without package buying, it's likely going to take me a good three to four months to reach the end game. I have a hard deadline for myself though to reach the end game at the end of the year. Next three videos I'm planning are what you can see here. I got a ton of Atlas Earth updates to talk about Saturday, so I'll be working on that soon as this one's done, followed by a personal finance video next Wednesday, and the video I've been dreading, misplay on the following Saturday, and yes, I'm going to add it to the portfolio at least temporarily for this month. We'll see where things go there. So that is the month in review, everyone. Now it's your turn. Let me know how your August went in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to like this video if you like it, and subscribe to Beer Money Engine. And if you want to go check out that video that I had made, the previous video, in which I talk about the free cash uh, word games and the easy way to get through them. Uh, go ahead and click to the left there, and I will see you all next time. This is Pharaoh Silver, signing out. Bye, everybody.